Hello guys, welcome uh, to Vault's tutorial update, which I think I'll probably call this. Um, what is basically, I'm not in the NPC village, what this basically is, is an up, a tutorial I've done in the past. Uh, I'm going to come onto this world, and if it's been updated in any way, I'm going to, or you've got comments which you posted like, how do I do this, I'll go over more in that thing, or how do I do that. I'll go back over them, uh, as you may have noticed, I do comment back on my videos just to check that you know as a type description you understand what I'm doing but this is more of a visual watching way sort of thing and it's now gone daytime okay so the first things you may have pointed out is this is a update for assembly line because I've had a lot of questions on this one and it's also been my most popular video so I thought I might as well revisit it now I've got this thing second of all this is a modded version of Tetan of uh, Vault sorry um, I have added red power and iron chests. Uh, that shouldn't make any difference whatsoever to um, how you use uh, these mods. It makes no difference whatsoever. It just it probably enhances it in a way. Um, but it's also for when I do a battle, which I'm doing over half term, which I do believe is next week with some people I've got in college. So uh, eyes out for that, and that would be pretty fun. Okay, but uh, anyway. You may have noticed I've got a greyed out or a camouflaged out area here, sort of thing. So um, I'm not going to show you what's inside that. I'm going to do a tutorial on it later on. Uh, you may have saw something a little bit there, but it's only a sneak preview. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to show you what's inside that due to the fact that in what's inside there could give me an advantage in the war and I don't want to show anyone, but for a little hint, that's what it produces. And this is all caught legitly, Stra 11 strange matter. That's caught completely legit. Um, so yeah, I'll do a tutorial on that soon. After about, probably about, it'll be out sometime next week. Uh, or probably a week after actually. So it'll come out probably about midweek, two weeks time, that'll come out. But yeah, eyes out for that. Uh, should be quite fun. Okay, first of all, uh, mod interaction. Uh, this was asked by Austin, uh, yeah, Austin or AA Austin 747. He said, well, loads of people put in. This was the main guy. He said, uh, how do, how does um, assembly line react with different mods or, or, or uh, different bits around vaults? And I'm going to tell you, it doesn't at all, which is a really suckish. Uh, I've added so, for example. I've got assembly line this side, like ka-chow, um, with, you know, I've got a timer going, sending the pulse to the uh, manipulator down the line into thing. I haven't put in the manipulator on this side because I've, it doesn't work. So I've got nothing in this chest. I've used red power this side with the, oh uh, god, I can't remember what it's called. Um, oh, sorry. It begins with a T. Hang on. It is called uh, the transposer. That's it, transposer, and that should shoot out items into the crystal chest. Now, vault stuff. So the universal electricity doesn't work for it for some reason for both sides. So I've smelted all these. So I had uh, raw pork chop, coal, wood, sand, gold ore, iron ore, and cobblestone. None of them, and they all went down into here. Had it all working. All these flickering. Not a dicky bird. So that's something to keep in mind. But assembly line currently, I'm going to po post out, but currently does not work with any other mods or what doesn't work using like, you know, all this stuff, which is quite suckish in a way. But yeah, uh, that leads us on to another update with how you can use it sort of. Now I'm putting sort of in there somewhere because in here we've got uh, two arm bots. Arm bots have been changed uh, slightly. They've been made smooth on client side and they've added some new commands. Uh, so return, rotate, and now the new command, it flicked up for a half a second. But yeah, the new command is called use. Um, and that basically, I think it, it just updated it. So it's still very rare. But it's still very weak. What it basically does is, in here, this is an imprinter. You make the imprint of a chest. So I've got a chest. And basically, 
if you've got wood, oh sorry, uh, oh geez, I can't spell. If I've got wood, so let me spawn a couple of these in. If you've got wood and you put it inside the imprinter, so in this bar here, or you can use, you could probably use a, um, a manipulator from a quarry or something, uh, not quarry, uh, from like, you know, mining trips uh, to go inwards. Um, yeah, you could probably put, get it to put wood in, so let me put wood in here. You can see it's already made a chest, so the dupe glitch, what I found last time, no longer works. They got rid of it. So yeah, now it's the use command, which you'll see pop up very quickly, and it would have grabbed the chest. So it's almost like an a automated crafting table, except for it uses arm bots, which is really, really nice. It's a nice, it's a nice added feature, and so I took this and thought, okay, so it crafts stuff, which is really, really cool. Uh, so it's automatic, automatic crafting. They've solution that. What about can you do um, furnace, automatic furnaces, and things like that? The answer is no. You cannot. Basically, I've got the same setup here. I've got an electric furnace, uh, smelt cobblestone. Got the same commands, exactly the same. Use, return, and all that thing, and it should go along into here. But nothing. I have tried to stick. Um, so let me take this out quickly. Uh, and you say, oh, well, what about if you use a normal furnace? You know, didn't try a normal furnace, you use an electric furnace. Well, what about if I do... Uh, come on, slime. Here you go. Put that there. Watch this. Nope. It destroys it. Don't worry, that's not a duplicate, it's because I'm in creative. But yeah, it destroys it, and it doesn't work. So, so far, arm bots do not work for um, furnaces, they only work for automatic crafting, but still, that is pretty cool. So, well done for doing that. Um, next up, I there's been an update to uh, rejectors. Not only have they got a new funky looking like actual self, they've got like two arms and things and they've got, oh hello, and they've got like a little wooden panel on the front. I think it relates to how they're crafted now. Because, oh yeah, arm bots have been changed recipe. They now use steel ingots and two steel plates and advanced circuits. So it's slightly more expensive. Uh, rejectors, yeah, you've got a piston in front. So it acts like a little mini piston inside. And yeah, you may have seen here, they've been changed slightly on how they work. So I've got two rejectors either side. Uh, well, they work exactly the same, but uh, you guys didn't quite understand how the new ones work. And they work exactly the same as the old ones. So. All you have to do is you come over to the imprinter. Um, I'm not going to have that. I'm going to have some oak planks. Thank you. You put oak planks in that one. Uh, oh yeah, oak planks in that one, and you get an imprint, which is one of these. You stick it in there, and it makes an oak planks. Uh, sorry, yeah, oak planks imprint. Now basically, all you have to do with that. So, let's say I no no longer want to sort slime balls. So I right click slime balls and it comes out of the imprint slime balls and I put in there. It comes out of oak wood planks. Now, basically, what that is now is any oak wood planks what come across this conveyor belt here will get kicked off into this line here. And on this one, any cobblestone will get kicked off into this one. I have stuck the other things in there just to make it look confusing and give you a migraine. I'm so evil. Look at that, that's so cool. Okay, let's test this out. So let me give me some wood wood now i'm going to have oak wood spruce wood i've got normal um cobble i've got normal stone and i've got cobblestone so let's dump these on some of the middle ones so do it ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. so basically that's loads of different wood going so i've got two different oak planks so i've got this one and that one do they work separately so you kick and kick so they both kicked off in there does the cobblestone work and kick and there's a glitch with that where they stop all of a sudden but yes so it worked exactly the same how they used to and back in a minute hey guys sorry about that uh, my phone decided to ring halfway through uh, that recording but anyway i'm back uh, so i'll explain here how these work exactly the same way as they used to they just hit the thing what they've been told to via the green now the thing you said now the thing i'm going to go back over if i grab a wrench that wasn't weird at all. Uh, 
Okay, I think it might be a bug. But yeah, anyway, uh, let me just kick all of these on to it. And yes, they, these do despawn within five minutes. Uh, sometimes they've been shorter, which has been quite annoying. But yeah, that's, that is, I think he, he's getting rid of that in the next update. But yeah, uh, cobblestone. Uh, so it's, this kicks off cobblestone, like you can see there. So I've set this up so only oak planks will be on this side and cobblestone on this side. They'll never touch each other. See, they've never ever reached past here. So it's a nice little loop around system. But yes, uh, if you want to make this kick anything other than cobblestone, then you squat. Right click. And it kicks it. And it turns red, you may notice that. It leaves the cobblestone, so they go red. See how the wood has actually despawned? Perfect opportunity. So the wood has actually despawned there. Uh, I'm pretty sure the basalt will start in a minute. Uh, the, cobble's, the cobble's gone. So let me just turn it out. So everything should now go around in a circle. So I'm going to do this until everything. Now this is a bug actually. The, the conveyor belt will sometimes the animations will actually stop moving. Remember this is still in very high development. So battle's gone now. And yeah, they're just the last little bits I kicked on just a minute ago. But anyway, um, I'm going to move on to the updates coming out in the future. So these are mod updates to come to the assembly line mod. We're going to have conveyor belts with different speeds. So that is going to be a great upgrade, up, up, upgrade, uh, upgrade to this, where you just have one standard speed conveyor belt, which doesn't move entities when there's no animations, but apparently moves objects as they do. Um, add a sorter, which is basically a manipulator with four sides that can eject. So, so yeah, that's going to be really helpful. So, but the manipulator is based is um, this thing here. So that's going to have four sides that it can eject from. So I'm guessing it will have like an internal chest or something, quite possibly, or a chest above it or something like that. So that'd be quite cool. Uh, add a turntable. So I'm guessing that'd be something a bit like an arm bot sort of thing, except for it's going to be 90 degrees or just turn the thing completely. I don't know why we need this really, other than... I don't know, it doesn't really make sense, because we've got this thing where it does a 90 degrees here, and I can't imagine why we need to turn stuff back on itself. So, they might do something else with it. Uh, change rotate, so this is in the arm bot, so we change the rotate command to a rotate to, so rotate to left or rotate to there. Don't know how exactly we're going to do it, or rotate by, and that's going to be numbers. So it's going to change normal rotate to rotate to and rotate by, which will be quite fun. Add a break and place command to the arm bot as well, so basically if, like over here, it has the chests which it delivers. Basically if it turn, it grabs the chest, turns back, and it'll place the chest, sort of thing. I don't know why that would be useful unless you have arm bots mounted to a red power frame which moves. Uh, that, that could be quite fun. Added cranes. Um, I'm guessing there'll be big, like bigger versions of the arm bot and things like that. So that'll be quite fun to look out for. And I reckon with the cranes is that they'll move crates. So they'll be able to pick up crates and move those around, which will be a very cool feature if they do. Um, add ability for detectors to work in inventories. This is my most favourite one I'm looking forward for. This, I'm, I'm, well, not sound in vain, but I think they must have listened to my security at a stadium idea because basically uh, the detector, which is, let me just bring it up here, which is this block. You know, the, the thing what we detected coal in the last tutorial. Uh, basically, you could have that here and you can make, like, you know, as they do in the as they do in like the airport. Uh, there we go. So oh shit. So as you, you walk through it. And if it's got if you got something in inventory, it'll flash up and go Meh. So that'd be really, really cool and I think would be a great feature. But yeah, anyway. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Remember to look out over half t uh, over half term for um, what I'm going to be using this in, or what this is, and um, yeah, and the next update I'm going to be doing is with the, um, sorry, with the, the, the 
particle accelerator, sorry, and antimatter because that has changed dramatically since my last update and I need to get out. So yeah, uh, until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye!